to look at the moon. Cool. Does anyone live up there? Unicorns, they totally live on the moon. Whoa. Hmm. I don't know about that. I'm telling you, they do. Unicorns bounce around and play on the moon all day. Well, there's only one way to find out if unicorns live on the moon. We're going to have to go to the moon and see for ourselves. Yes! I can't wait to play with unicorns, pop off moon rocks, and see the twinkling stars. It's going to be epic. But how are we going to get to the moon? Easy. We just need a spaceship. How are we going to get one of those? I have one. We can use my toy spaceship. We're going to need one way bigger than that because we all have to fit inside of it. Right. Which means we're going to have to build our own spaceship. Yeah, and it can look like my toy spaceship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. First, we need to build the body of the spaceship. It has to be big enough for us to fit in. Hey, and Snow too. Yep, Snow too. Now we just need something to build it out of. Build what? A spaceship so we can fly to the moon. Then I'll prove to Malik that unicorns live there. Hold on, I have just the thing. All right! I just installed a new fridge for Leko and Duffy and thought you kids could use this box for something fun. It's perfect for a spaceship. Thanks, Grandma Super. Whee! Uh, Grandma Super, we might be gone for a few hours since we're flying to the moon and all. Oh, well, thanks for letting me know. Uh, I just remembered I was supposed to bring Leiko and Duffy a, a, a light bulb for their new fridge. Be right back. Okay, I'm looking for volunteers to pretend to be moon unicorns with me. I'm in. You did say moon unicorns, right? The kids are building a pretend spaceship we can surprise them with a pretend moonscape and unicorn costumes for when they land. Surprises? Unicorns? I could not be more in. Great. We'll need unicorn horns and a few other things. The spaceship needs a pointy top, like my toy. <gasps> It doesn't look like this pointy top. Now it looks more like my spaceship. Add it to the spaceship, Zeke. <laughs> oh, hurry up, Zeke. <clears throat> You're getting kind of heavy. <sighs> oh, yeah. uh, uh. <sighs> yes! Looking good. Okay, let's go inside. Hmm, in here? Or in here? Uh, there's no door. No problem. We can create one. What does the door look like on your toy spaceship? Let's test it out! The door is too small. I'm stuck! 
Uh, a little help, please? Huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we need to improve the door by making it bigger. And there. Now it's big enough for us to fit through. But we can't fly with a big hole in the spaceship. Stars will get in. I can improve that. Much better. Now we can open and close it like a door. Let's test it out. Uh, yeah. Stop bumping into me. You're on my foot. I can't see anything. I know something we can use to light up the spaceship. I got a flashlight! Hmm, I think we need something brighter. <gasps> Super's mega flashlight! Way too bright! We need something bright, but not too bright. Be right back! Uh-oh. <clears throat> Let's test out my camping lantern. Snout says it's improved. I think we have all we need to make a bouncy moonscape. Woohoo! <laughs> well, maybe not everything. Ellie, can we borrow your trampoline so we can use it to be unicorns on the moon? Okay. Is the moon far? We're gonna get really tired standing all the way there. No problem. We can create something for all of us to sit on. Let's split up and see what we can find. Huh. These should work. Three chairs for us. And one strawberry for me. Mm. So comfy. I want to test my pillow first. No way. I want to test these folding chairs first. Huh? Freeze! Let's test my chairs first. The chairs are too tall. Let's test yours. Me next! Me next! Okay, you and Malik. Uh, uh, uh. We don't have enough space to open all three chairs. Great! I get to test Super's giant pillow. It fits! We worked it out. Now we can snuggle all the way to the moon. <laughs> the kids are still building their spaceship. Once they blast off, we'll sneak in and set up the moonscape. <laughs> okay, we created our spaceship, tested it, and improved it with a door, lights, and chairs. But it's still missing something. It needs to be decorated so it looks like a real snazzy spaceship. Oh, and Snout thinks we need astronaut helmets. <laughs> Now we're ready for liftoff. Maybe we should say goodbye to Grandma Super. Grandma Super! It's out of this world amazing and looks like it'll take you straight to the moon. Come in, Mission Control Super. It's Astronaut Malik. Copy. Coming in loud and clear. Over. Promise to go when we land. Over. Three, two, one, liftoff! We have liftoff, astronauts. Constantly.
constellation of stars shaped like a robot. I see planet Earth. Oh, no! Whoa! Look out! There's a meteor shower heading right for us! Race for impact! <laughs> <laughs> Beep, bop, boop. Prepare for landing, astronauts! Click! Come in, Mission Control. This is Astronaut Malik. We've landed on the moon. No sign of unicorns yet. We are about to explore. Over. One small step for the treeberhood, and one giant step for bouncy fun. Whoa! The moon looks way better up close than through the telescope. Look, over there. Are those unicorns? Yeah! I told you there were unicorns on the moon. Would you like to bounce around with us? That's our favorite thing to do. Let's bounce! We've had so much fun playing with you all. But I think it's close to your bedtime back on Earth. Already? But we just got here. Oh, you can always come back and visit us another day! Mission accomplished. There are unicorns on the moon. Boop, boop, beep. Click. Three, two, one, lift off! Yeah, Hooray! welcome back. Welcome! I know it's almost bedtime, but can we have a quick turn in your awesome spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> Try something new. You think you know what to do. Though friends make it seem easy, it's not so easy for you. Don't go Duffy and let go. You'll be happier if you stay. Sometimes you have to keep trying to get things going your way. Don't go Duffy and let go. You'll be happier if you stay. Trying to get things going your way. Some things, some things are hard to get right. get right. You can't figure it out. Try as you might, but if you give up and go, you'll never know what you can do. Don't go Duffy and let go. You'll be happier if you stay. Sometimes you have to keep trying to get things going your way. Super said we could, and we're playing moon tag. What's moon tag? Like regular tag, only you can't step in any places where the moon shines. I like it. Except you did the moon all wrong. You made it round, and tonight the moon is going to be... Hey, don't mess up my moon. <laughs> then I'll just tell you. The moon won't be round tonight. It'll be more like a crescent roll. Do you not know about crescent rolls? Uh, nope. Come on, I'll show you. Thanks, Mama. These are crescent rolls. And this is what the moon will look like tonight. You don't know that. Only the moon knows what shape it'll be. Mm. I do know, because I'm the one who decides. I don't like to brag. Well, I'm a pretty great magician. Sometimes I go to my special moon place and do a thing, 
and make the moon change shape. Tonight, I'm going to tell the moon to look like this. Uh, oh, no, like this. No way. Really? Do you not believe I'm a magician? I don't know. You mean it for real? For real. And you can be my assistant if you want to see how the magic is done. Whoa! Yes! What do I have to do? You put on a magic costume and meet me at the moon place right at dark. Okay? Okay! I have to ask Grandma Super, but... Okay! Bye! Did I hear you pretending to be a magician again? Yes. I just played a little trick on Zeke. I don't think you want to trick a friend for too long. I won't, Mama. Oh, I love this calendar, except it's kind of too high. Isn't it so interesting how the moon appears to change? See how it is big and round here? And then we see less and less of it every night. Until it's just a teeny weeny crescent. Like tonight. Yep, and what we see gets even smaller until we can't see the moon. Then slowly, slowly it gets bigger until it's nice and round again. We see less and less until we don't see the moon, and then we see more and more. And it happens over and over again, right? Happens every month, Louisa. The part of the moon that we see follows a pattern. I like when we talk about science things. Especially if afterwards we have pie. What is happening? What was that? Do I look magic? Why do you want to look magic? Because Louisa's teaching me moon magic. And what's moon magic? It's this magic trick Louisa does when she turns the moon into different shapes. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not true. Even if Louisa was a magician, she couldn't change the moon. No one can. Calling Zeke. Calling Zeke. I'm at the moon place. Are you coming? I'm coming, Louisa. Bye. <laughs> I'm here! I'm here! Yay! Ready, Mr. Assistant? So ready! What do I do? You watch. Oh, Moon, I command you to look like a crescent wool. One, two, abracapoof! Abracapoof! <gasps> you did it! I can't believe you did it! <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, Zeke! I was tricking you! I can't really do magic! But, but, but you said... Eh, and the moon. I brought this to show you. It's a moon calendar. See? Here's today on the calendar. It shows tonight is a crescent moon. How does the calendar know that? Because the moon changes the same way every month. Actually, the moon doesn't really change. We just see a different part of it every night. What we see gets a little bigger, more bigger, until it is a round circle. And then smaller and smaller until we can't see it. Next month, it does the same thing. And all the months after that. That's why I know what comes next. Oh, okay. Though, I kind of like thinking it was you. I wish we could do moon magic. <sighs> I'm kind of getting a great idea, Zeke. What if we played my trick on your brother and sister? Yep, it's true. I saw it for myself. Louisa told the moon what shape to be. That is some superpower, my friend. It's magic power. And Louisa taught it to me. Sure she did. Hey, hi. Did you tell them, Zeke? Oh, those pancakes smell delicious. Would you like some? I ate already. Did you not know I eat cereal for breakfast? I did not know that. 
Maybe I could have second breakfast? You could. Coming right up. Yay! So did Zeke tell you we can change the moon into a different shape? Do you want to see? Sure. Just one thing, though. If you're real magicians... We are really real. Then we want to see you do a hard trick. Like... Like... Change the moon into all the shapes, not just one. That's one tall order for two small magicians. Is it more than you can do? We can do all the magic. We can? Are you sure? Sure, sure. Did you lock it? There isn't a lock. I'll put out the sign. Zadie, Malik, I put out the don't come in sign. Which means you can't come in. Snout is watching. How are we going to make the moon be all the shapes? Why did I say we could? Maybe we should tell them we were fooling. No! I don't want to do that. Then we need to think. Hurry up, thoughts. Hurry, hurry. Wait, I have an idea. Only we need the calendar and silver paper. Calendar, silver paper, coming up. Paper. So, what do we do? First, we cut out all the different moon shapes. All of them? There's one, two, lots. Yes, all of them. Are they lined up right? Big to small, back to big, right. So now, we put each shape on a string. I'll punch the holes. You tie the strings. I'm ready. Are you ready? Ready. Fingers crossed. We're here to see your magic. Where's Zeke? He's around doing things. Uh, what things? Magic things for us to know and you to be amazed by. <laughs> Shh. Oh, Moon, this is Louisa. I command you to be big and round. That's pretty. And now I command you to be a smaller Moon. <gasps> Whoa. to be smaller. Hey! Amazing! And smaller. Moon, now become bigger. And bigger and bigger. Back to being big and round. Whoa. That's great. Thank you, big round moon. I command you now to disappear. Africa poof. And that is all the shapes. The end. Hot chocolate, anyone? Oh, no. Did I miss the show? That's okay. We'll do it again. But I want hot chocolate. After the hot chocolate. That was pretty cool, you two. And beautiful. You magic the moon into all the shapes. I can't wait to see it. Ah. <sighs> Isn't this the most perfect night? <gasps> now, what's really the most perfect night? You know, we can't really tell the moon what to do. I know, little Squish. I know. Work It Out Wombats is made possible in part by a ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, by these generous supporters and by viewers like you. Thank you.
Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.